The weather is changing and things are definitely getting wetter here on the reserve as winter has truly arrived. Our Buick Swans arrived on the 10th of November and that made it the latest arrival we've ever seen since 1965. But when you're visiting this winter, don't forget to look out for some of our more secretive species out on the nature reserve. Some of those include things like bittern, always a popular species with our visitors. Now is definitely one of the best times of the year to try and catch up with them. This small brown heron with cryptic plumage has had a chequered history in the last few hundred years in the UK, becoming extinct in the late 1800s before making a comeback in 1911. Their numbers increased until 1950, but then saw another sharp decline, dropping to just 11 booming males across the UK. But in the last 25 years, conservation efforts to restore wetlands across the UK have seen their numbers increase to now over 200 booming males, with possibly more than 800 birds here during the winter. So when you're visiting the reserve this winter, don't forget to look out for these cryptic species, particularly at the Zeiss hide in the reed bed there. But we've also recently had some great sightings from the Martin Smith hide, where we've recently opened up areas of reed bed on the islands, usually to attract another species, the common snipe. During the winter months, the Martin Smith hide here is a great place to be able to see common snipe, but don't forget to check through them and look for their rarer, smaller cousin, the jack snipe. They can be quite difficult to identify, but the key characteristics are that the bird is much smaller, has a shorter bill, it looks more proportionate to the body, and many people will tell you to look out for the bobbing motion of the jack snipe, but don't forget common snipe will also bob too. So the key characteristic to separate the two species is on the head. Common snipe have a stripe on the either eye, and then a stripe through the middle of the forehead, a crown stripe. But if you compare that to a jack snipe, you'll notice they have the two stripes over the eye, but they don't have a stripe down the middle of the forehead, it's all dark. And another one of our star secretive birds on the reserve has to be the water rail. They're another bird that we just don't know exactly how many come here during the winter. It's estimated that there are around about 4,000 breeding territories in the UK, but they can be really easy to see underneath the bird feeders at the willow hide and the kingfisher hide. But everywhere on the site, don't forget to listen out for their pig-like squeal as you're walking through any areas of wetland like this. And if you need some extra help trying to identify and find these species this winter, why not come along to our wild winter weekend this January?